Welcome to this interesting question. Given is ABCD is a bicentric quadrilateral that is with respect to purple circle, it's a cyclic quadrilateral. With respect to blue circle, it's a tangential quadrilateral. The vertex of this quadrilateral are joined to the center of this blue circle. Exciting part is with this given dimensions of 16, 11 and 12, we have to find the length of this red line segment or value of X. Let's check the solution. Here ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral with respect to this purple circle. And in cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles are supplementary. So if we'll assume this angle D here as 2 alpha, then this angle B that will be 180 minus 2 alpha. Same way if this angle A here is 2 beta, then this angle C here will be 180 minus 2 beta. Now this purpose of this purple circle is finished. So let's remove this circle. Now here from point D, we have two tangents DE and DC are drawn and by theorem, this external point when we join it to the center, it bisects this angle. So half of this angle will be alpha degrees. And same way here, if we'll check only half of this angle, so half of this angle will be 90 minus alpha. Same goes for here at point A and point C. So if we'll take only half of this angle, that will be beta degrees. And here half of this angle, that will be half of this or 90 minus beta. Now let's join from the center to this point of tangency E and from this center to the point of tangency F. Now if we'll check this triangle BFO, this angle is 90 minus alpha, this is 90 degree. And thus this angle remaining here, that will be alpha degree. And thus this triangle DEO that is similar to this triangle here that's OFB by angle angle similarity. As the triangles are similar thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. So here we can say that EO upon DO that will be equal to FB upon OB. EO upon DO that is your R upon 12 and FB by Pythagoras theorem, we can say that FB is square root of hypotenuse square minus side square. So FB upon OB, that will be this unit upon 16. Now to solve it, let's square both the sides. So we'll get this ratio here. This RHS, if we'll divide each term by 16 square, it gets simplified in this form. Further, we can simplify it by taking this negative R square by 16 square on the other side and then r square will go on the other side and divide one. So basically we'll get this term in this form. Now here this r is radius of this in circle and 12 and 16 are the distance of this point D and B from the center. So we can solve it to get value of r as 9.6 centimeter. But here main point is if I'm finding this in radius from point A and C, then it should still holds true. That is, if we'll solve with respect to this triangle AEO and triangle CFO, we can again prove them to be similar and then take the ratio of corresponding sides and we'll get the same result. That is, 1 by R square is, instead of 12 and 16, it will become your 11 and X. Now here, both the terms LHS is same, so RHS will also be equal. So 1 by 12 square plus 1 by 16 square is 1 by 11 square plus 1 by x square. This is a simple algebra. We can solve it to get value of x as 19.66 centimeter. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.